Cassava is fast becoming a cash crop and a food security crop in Africa. The transformation of cassava is in part a result of the work being done by the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture IITA, and its international and national partners across Africa. Today's episode of Cassava Matters is dedicated to IITA's work on cassava and in particular its chief servant, Dr. Nataraya Saginga, who clocked 67 years old this week. Dr. Saginga is the Director General of the IITA. Under his leadership, IITA has made remarkable breakthrough in cassava both on station and on farm. Born December 9, 1953 in Bukavu, Democratic Republic of Congo, Saginga had most of his postgraduate training in IITA and worked in various capacities including principal scientist and head of the Soil Microbiology Unit of the Research Institute. On November 1, 2011, he became the first African to be appointed the Director General of the IITA. Under his leadership, the Institute has witnessed massive development of science infrastructure in Africa. But beyond these infrastructural developments, he attracted projects and programs that emphasize research capacity development and partnerships. To celebrate this icon, we shall highlight some of his efforts aimed at transforming cassava from a poor man's crop to a cash crop and key driver of Africa's economy. Cassava is a major staple in the developing world and a major raw material for industries across the globe. But this important crop faces both biotic and abiotic constraints that have limited yield in Africa to less than 10 tons per hectare as opposed to Asian countries like Thailand where yield is more than 20 tons per hectare. One of the major biotic constraints of cassava farming is weed infestation, which makes it labor-intensive and women spending at least 500 hours per annum controlling weeds on one hectare. To address this constraint, Dr. Saginga revamped the cassava weed management unit of the IITA with the mandate to create impact on farmers' fields, particularly in cassava and other crops. In the last seven years, the unit has lived up to its mandate, as seen in the development of the Six Steps to Cassava Weed Management Toolkit. This single technology is being adopted in Nigeria and several other African countries like Tanzania, Zambia and the Democratic Republic of Congo to increase the productivity of farmers and national output of cassava. The result of the Six Tabs Toolkit has been tremendous, with farmers attesting to the fact that it is helping them improve their incomes without stress. Okay. As of now, but tell it, tell it, and see for our hour. I did laugh with Punk Punk and Tabata, but I made you out of my joke. I'm a Taja, I'm a Tau. If it had been forty thousand, tell it, tell it. Then about to go call a Benson call at least, okay, two of our one twenty, you only one ten. Tell it, tell it, Moman died two and can be a can marry man. Suban Lenu, but you know what, see, Dan Lecoy for what? Coda. We also recall the achievements of a group of women in Benue State who are using the toolkit to manage a 42 hectare of land meant for the production of cassava stems of improved varieties. If only you are able to follow these six steps, you have no problem with cassava. 
Because once the six steps are followed, you will not suffer within. And, you know, paying people to wait for you, coming to give them food at the farm, that is the farm feeding bar, uh -huh. paying every, you know, the cost of transportation coming and going, you will not see that. Because in a day, if you have, even if you have about three people, they will be able to spray one hectare. Whereas if you will employ people to come and weed, you will have to spend not less than 15,000 naira on feeding. Because people will be coming to weed and they won't be able to finish weeding in one week. So it's very much better to follow the six steps. Under Dr. Saginga, the Institute has continued to develop a pipeline of improved cassava varieties to be released in the years ahead to meet new and emerging challenges. Furthermore, IITA is today championing the development of sustainable cassava seed systems that will drive the dissemination and adoption of improved cassava varieties across Africa. Dr. Saginga has also initiated programs that are developing young people and getting them involved in the cassava value chain. The Start Them Early programs, TAB, and the ITA Youth Agripreneurs, IYA, are two youth-based programs the DG initiated to ignite the interest of young people in agriculture, while IYA is helping young people to create jobs in agribusiness, STEP is catching them young in primary and secondary schools. The Six Steps Toolkit has also made it easy for young people to go into cassava cultivation since it has removed the drudgery and stress involved and made it more profitable to grow cassava. With all of these achievements and many more, we say a happy birthday to Dr. Deranya Saginga. Now, what is in the Six Tabs Toolkit? that makes it the almighty formula for profitable and stress-free cassava cultivation. Let's take a look. Do you want to grow cassava and get higher yield? Here are six steps to help you achieve your dream. 1. Select a suitable site that is not on a slope, waterlogged, stony or very shallow. Two. If the vegetation is an older fallow with trees, shrubs and broad leaves and too tall to go over with a sprayer, slash the vegetation and plow. If the vegetation is a grass fallow with perennial weeds such as spare grass, guinea grass, siam weed, sensitive plant or giant potato and too tall to go over with a sprayer, slash the vegetation and wait for two weeks to allow the growth. 3. Apply glyphosate, for example, Roundup Turbo, Touchdown Forte, at labor rate to deal with the grass regrowing from the slash grass fallow. Glyphosate should also be applied on a field if it has little vegetation, less than one meter tall, with perennial weeds. Thereafter, wait for 14 days to allow total kill by glyphosate. 4. Tillage operations are costly but result in higher cassava yields and productive fields. Plowing generally increases youth yield by at least 5 tons per hectare. Only invest in plowing if the revenue expected from 5 tons of cassava exceeds the cost of plowing 1 hectare of land. Region increases root yield by at least 4 tons per hectare. Reach your field if the revenue from four tons of cassava exceeds the cost of ridging one hectare of land. Ridging is also recommended if your soil is high in clay content or if you intend to harvest in the dry season or if weeds are difficult to control. 5. Plant cassava only when the soil is moist at one meter between rows 
and 0.8 meters within rows. Thereafter, apply pre-emergence herbicide such as Prime Extra Gold at 4 liters per hectare or Lagoon at 1.25 liters per hectare within 24 hours after planting. Do not apply pre-emergence herbicide on dry soil. Replace cuttings that fail to sprout after 15 to 21 days. 6. When weeds cover 30% of your field and they are at 4 to 6 leaf stage, apply a post-emergence weed control, for example, post-emergence herbicides, mechanical or manual weeding. In grass-dominated fields or in portions of a field that are grass-dominated, apply Fossilate 40 at 3 liters per hectare and a cassava canopy for grass and or broadleaf infested fields, glufosinate ammonium for example, lifeline, buster, fascinate may be applied at label rate. Glyphosate like Roundup Turbo, Touchdown 40 and can also be carefully applied at label rate. But it is important to use a shield on the sprayer nozzle to avoid glyphosate touching green parts of cassava which will result in cassava damage. If cassava is less than 8 weeks old and the field is infested with grass and broadleaf weeds, use manual weeding. Do not apply the same herbicides year in year out because this may promote the development of resistant weeds. To watch amazed episodes and other useful cassava weed management videos, Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cassava Matters, and follow us on our social media handles. For questions, comments, and inquiries, please use the following contact details on your screen. We'll be glad to hear from you.